So hello guys, um, Milkshake Man here, and today I'm gonna make a video on my um, top 10 favorite GTA games. Um, I'm a huge fan of the series, I figure that for this, um, I should do a top 10. And um, before we do that, I'm gonna tell you um, the, the GTA games I haven't played, so they're not gonna be on this list. Um, I haven't played GTA 1, I haven't played GTA London, I haven't played GTA 2. And 5. I've never played GTA 5. I've played 2 minutes of it, but that was pretty much it. Um, every time I try to get a copy of the game, I just can't seem to do it. So, I'm going to be telling, but pretty much I've played every single other one. And I own every single other one. So, we're going to start off with, um, GTA, um, Advance. Now, this was a Game Boy game that came out. And, um, it came out, like, I think it was before, or the same day as San Andreas. I don't really know, but I do know that I came out in San Jesus and and it was basically a portable GTA game that was actually playable, and um, it's 2D, and um, it's not really good, I, I do own it and I've played it, but um, on Game Boy Advance, I played it on an emulator on my iPad, but um, I'm beating it, but um, it's not really a good GTA game. It's it has frame rate issues. It's not so good, and I don't know. I think it just deserved to be on this list at least since I played it. And um, next one we're gonna be talking about is um, Chinatown Wars. This came on um, I first played this on DS, um, iOS, and then I played it on my Vita as a PSP game. And I could do a walkthrough on it if you wanted me to. Um, GTA Advance took place in Liberty City from GTA 3. It was a prequel. And, um, and, and took place in Liberty City from the 3D era. This game took place in Liberty City in the HD era, which is kind of weird because it's not even an HD game to begin with. But that doesn't really matter. It's still part of the HD universe. This game is a lot better than GTA Advance was. And, um,. I seriously think it was a really good DS game. Now on the on the PSP, it was good too. I played it. I played it on my Vita, and it's just a PSP game on the Vita, so you can't use the second stick. But um, it's still a pretty good game. Um, if you never played Chinatown Wars, just go and check it out. It's a pretty good GTA game, actually. Um, I'm trying to load this up. Okay, now at number eight, we have um, GTA 4, the Lost and Damned DLC. Now this was an add-on for GTA 4, and improved upon it mass, and um, it added a few new things, like new guns, a new storyline, and you got to play as a different character, which was something that GTA 5 would have, and was actually an original concept for San Andreas. And um, I played through the story, um, it's pretty short, and it's pretty cool to play in the same city we're already familiar with in the eyes of another character. Add new guns. Um, the protagonist was Johnny Clevitz, some lost MC biker gang in Liberty City in Alderney. And it's, uh, it was a good DLC, but um, personally, there's it's not really a GTA game in my opinion. It's just an add-on. That's all it'll ever be. And it's not really a really good GTA game, in my opinion. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Number seven, we have GTA Vice City Stories. I'm currently doing a walkthrough on this. This came out as a PSP game, and then it was ported to PS2, and was and, and was ported to PS3 and Vita as well. I'm doing it on Vita, which is the same for Tycom Wars, just a PSP game. You can't use the second stick. But um, this game was the last 3D GTA game, and I've played a lot of it the past few days to get used to it again. And it's a really good GTA no, 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 it's repetitive as hell. 15 levels for side missions instead of 12. Storyline's boring and stupid. And, um, 
Vic isn't really a nice character to play as because you already know he's going to die in Vice City. So, <clears throat> when it's not fun to do the side missions in these games, that's kind of a bit of a downside. But it was still a good game to represent, um, but it was still a great game to represent the ending of the 3D era until GTA 4, you know, came out, um, two years later. So, and personally, if you've never played it, you can get it on the PlayStation Store if you want, on your PS3 or Vita, or you can also get it on an actual copy of it on PS2 and PSP. So, um, yeah. So, um... Let's go to the next one at number. I forgot, was it number seven? I think it was number six. I think we're at number six now. Okay, so at number six, we got um, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Um, this game is a lot better than Vice City Stories. Now, Vice City Stories had a lot more stuff you can do in it, like helicopters and everything like that, and you could swim. But Liberty Sea Stories is more fun to complete with the side missions. It's just level 12, not 15. The story is interesting, and you and it was the first real portable GTA experience. Like it was 3D instead of like the crappy 2D of Advance, and it was still a really good GTA game. It this game was revolutionary. I first played this on um on my PS2, and then I got it on the Vita after um I, my copy got destroyed. And, um, it also has multiplayer, so you could, like, go play with your friends and everything. It was just really good GTA game. That also applies to Vice City stories, but for me, um, LCS has a better fun factor. It, the story is more fun, the protagonist is more interesting. Everything about it is just more fun. So we're going to be moving on to the next one. So I think I, we're at number five now. At number five um, is the Ballad of Gay Tony. Now a lot of people think that this is actually better than GTA 4. Um, I actually don't like it. I like GTA 4 a lot more, um, even though it's the DLC improved upon it way more than Lost and Damned. I just like four more cool DLC because I had nightclubs, added parachutes, I had a few new vehicles, a new helicopter. And, um, even though the story's short, it's pretty cool and interesting to play as Luis Lopez. And, all together, it's a really cool, um, GTA game. And, um, we're gonna be moving on to the games I'm really familiar with now. So, at number four, we got GTA, um, Vice City. Vice City is a really good game. Like, if you never played it, you need to play this game. If you're a GTA fan, you need to play it. Um, it's actually on PS4 now, if you have that. And, um, it's a really... It's also on PC. It's Mac. It's a really good GTA game. It's based off Starface. It was basically an improvement for, um, GTA 3. And it was just amazing altogether. It really was. And... Soundtrack was awesome, 80s, Michael Jackson, um, I think Phil Collins was in it, no, Phil Collins was in Vice City Stories, um, I forgot, but Iron Maiden, <clears throat> like, this game is just so fun, Vice City is just so cool, because Tommy Versetti, the biggest GTA badass ever, he was actually number one on the top ten protagonists list at watchmojo.com, oh, Vice City is just one of the greatest GTA and video games ever made. Period. At number three, we have GTA 4. Yes, I actually really like GTA. I um, really like GTA 4. GTA 4 is really good, um, it's actually, it was my, it was my favorite GTA game, but then I dropped it down to 3, because this game is awesome, it really is, I did a walkthrough on it, but then I stopped doing it, long story, and, um, it's just really good, 
years of time ago. This game came out in 2008, two years after Vice City Stories. A lot of people say it wasn't good because of the driving physics, the story was dark, and it wasn't really as fun as Andreas. Yeah, there's no monster trucks, jetpacks, night vision goggles, or there's no, like, three cities on a whole map. But I think Rockstar did a really good job with this game, and I think it's way better than GTA V. Um, a lot of people think it's better than GTA V, I can't really tell because I haven't played V. played V for like two minutes, but um, I can say that um, I saw a video on 4 is better than 5, and I can honestly say I kind of agree with them. Yes, 5 has a lot of good stuff, but 4 is just a lot better. I actually like the driving physics. I actually played the driving physics so much that when going back to the older ones, it was hard for me to drive, because I was so used to driving physics in that game. But there's no more realistic version of New York City than GTA 4. And GTA 4 was like one of the first games I bought when I got an Xbox 360. It's just one of the best geez, it's one of the best Xbox 360 games ever. If you never played this one, it's like five dollars now to get it used, so it's really cheap to get. So at number two, we got Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This was the first GTA game I ever played, and was the first video game I ever played, and I'm going to say this, San Andreas is freaking awesome, man. Um, I did a walkthrough on it before, and I stopped doing it for a reason I'm not going to really tell, because um, I'm redoing my GTA walkthrough, so I'm starting off with Vice City Stories. San Andreas is, a, I hear, is the best GTA game ever. It, it pretty much is. Even though GTA V sold more than San Andreas, San Andreas is still way better in a lot of people's eyes, because it was way more fun, story was more interesting. Um, there were three cities on a huge map compared to just one and then made up of countryside. This game did have countryside like GTA V, but it had more, it, but it had, um, more, it, but it had three cities. Los Santos, San Fierro, and Las Venturas, all based off Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Las Vegas. And GTA V only has one city, Los Santos, and then it's made up of countryside. Like, they couldn't even put three cities on there like their older games could. But, San Andreas is probably the best GTA game ever, and it was probably my favorite game as a kid. And it still is one of my favorites, but there is still one GTA game that I love more than San Andreas. Hmm. At number one, we got Grand Theft Auto 3. And, um, a lot of people might be surprised by that. Like, really? The oldest GTA game is the one you pick as your favorite? This game, it wasn't the first I played. It was actually, like, the fourth or fifth I played. But, um, GTA 3, man. This game came out on my, um, near my birthday. Like, two weeks after my birth- a week after my birthday. And it's very close to me. Um, no, GTA 3 isn't really as- awesome and has a lot of stuff that you could do in the other GTA games, but GTA 3 has that nostalgic feeling, and you have to think, remember, before this game came out, there was only GTA 1, 2, and London, and those were top-down 2D games. This game revolutionized and brought it into 3D, and was even ranked number 5 on the top 100 video games of all time. So even a lot of people know that GTA 3 kind of deserves that kind of hype. This game wasn't really hyped, but it did really well. And it's just that nostalgic feeling. And you can actually get this game on Amazon for your PS2 for like a penny use. Like that's how cheap it is. And it's a really good game, even though it's really old and it's really cheap to get, which means you think it's not really good. It's still a really good game. This game was the first 3D game, and it took place at the end of the timeline, in the chronological order of the 3D Universe games. And it was just one of the greatest achievements that the PS2 did. Before this, there was no, no other game like this. There was Driver 2 on the PlayStation 1, but this did so much better, and GTA 3 is just very nostalgic if you were a kid growing up with it. And to this day, it will still always be my favorite GTA game ever made, period. Now, I'm gonna 
not shut off the video yet. I'm gonna let the GTA 3 theme song play so that you people can listen to it. Yeah, see ya.